thought the prospect of a state government shutdown is becoming more of a real possibility with each passing day. As WMTW News 8's political reporter Paul Merrill tells us, just getting leaders talking was a challenge today. All week long, legislative leaders have been meeting, trying to come to some sort of agreement that they can all get behind. But now one of those four men is accused of derailing the whole process. Republican House Minority Leader Ken Fredette is drawing heat from both sides today for his behavior during budget negotiations. At one point, talks were off altogether. Republican Senate President Mike Thibodeau says legislators can't negotiate a deal through the press. I think it's time for all four leaders to get back together, leave their cell phones on the outside of the door so that we don't have that added distraction. Democrats are accusing Fredette of trying to sabotage budget negotiations in order to bring about a state government shutdown. Democratic Senate Minority Leader Justin Alphonse says Fredette keeps moving the goalpost. It just keeps changing, and, he, and I don't know if he's speaking for the House GOP, if he's speaking for the governor, but things keep changing repeatedly over and over. And as a negotiator, you just can't do that. We're at the table, we're negotiating, we have not moved the goalpost, we're talking about the exact same things that we've talked about. For a long time. Talks were back on by mid afternoon. We put the same question to all three legislative leaders. What do you say to folks back home who say this whole thing is juvenile? Um, I would suggest to you that uh, people are doing what they believe is right for the, for the state of Maine, and, and uh, I hope that uh, at the end of the day they can be proud of what we accomplished. In any negotiations, you have breakdowns. We're at a breakdown. Uh, we're going to get back to the table. But when we do, we need to ensure that Representative Fredette and the House GOP are coming together in good faith. And if we're not willing to stand up for those principles now, then, then when do we stand up for those principles? Lawmakers had hoped to be finished by June 17th, one week from today. In Augusta, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.